Nail professionals have been asking, how do you do your own nails? If you're right-handed, using your left or right, opposite hand, non-dominant hand. <laughs> how do you do it, Steph? She's going to show us exactly how to do this right now. Lot of questions online from nail pros about working on ourselves and ways uh, to do our non-dominant hand you know obviously all the steps are still generally the same but we're gonna go through some tips and tricks today to kind of help you guys hopefully make the process a little smoother for you okay so first just like every other enhancement we're gonna start by prepping the nail so we're gonna push back our cuticles one thing that I feel like helps me when I'm working on myself is usually when I'm working with my any of my instruments on my left hand, I'm right-handed, so um, my left hand is my non-dominant, I'm moving in standard motion. It's still, um, I'm moving my right hand to do most of the actions. What I do when I'm working on my right hand is I still move my right hand to do it. I'm just holding the instruments with my left hand. So I'm gonna grab that uh, medium crosscut bit and I'm gonna turn on my electric file to about uh, five and I'm actually gonna be working in reverse since I'm working on my non-dominant hand. And the nice thing about our current version of the electric file is that it does stay in reverse. If I need to stop and set it down and turn it back on, it's still in reverse when I come back to it. So just as if you were working on a normal another client, you're gonna go ahead and go right up around your cuticle area. I'm still going and I'm pulling an emotion towards myself, but I'm actually using my right hand to do most of the movement, and I'm just holding the electric file with my left. So we're gonna get up around that cuticle area, make sure we take care of all of that overgrowth, and then just go ahead and remove the shine from the rest of the nail. Again, you're always pulling towards yourself. and then pull down and just again pulling towards myself with it working in reverse. So I'm going to set that down and grab a clean manicure brush and swipe and take that and brush down to get rid of all of the dust and debris that we just made and make sure the nail is nice and dehydrated and ready for an enhancement. So I'm going to grab my protein bond and apply a nice even coat from cuticle to free edge. And then go ahead and do that one more time. And take our form and remove that little insert and pop it onto the back just to give us a little bit of extra strength. And when I'm getting thing when I'm preparing things, even though I'm working on my right hand, I'm still doing most of the work with my right hand and then just kind of guiding it in with my left. So again, I use most of the motion with my right hand because I'm really not very ambidextrous when it comes to this. I've just kind of learned to work with it so I can have nice nails as well. So same as any other enhancement on a client or on yourself, you wanna make sure that you look at the form, kind of try to make sure that you're at the correct angle so you're gonna have a straight enhancement looks pretty good it's nice and flush so we're ready to grab some acrylic okay so I've got my cover peach acrylic and again what I usually do rather than trying to pick this up with my left hand is I actually still go ahead and pick up my pearl with my right hand and then I just kind of hand it over to my left so now I'll switch back and I'm just going to go ahead and set that first bead down right at the free edge. Give it a second to set up. And then use my brush to just kind of move that around. Make sure that I have it attached to my free edge here. And the same thing on the other side. And then just start to pull that out to give myself the shape that I want. Again, a lot of the steps are, gener are all pretty much the same. My best piece of advice for working on your dominant hand is just be patient 
It's gonna take a little bit more time. And I personally really like to do my non-dominant hand first because I feel like it just goes smoother once I switch over to working on my uh, regular, my left hand. So for me, if I got the hard hand out of the way first, then it was easier for me to just finish out the set after that. So again, I'm gonna grab my brush and pick up my pearl using my right hand. And then switch over, hand it off to my left. And I'm just gonna angle my finger slightly down so that gravity can help work for me. Release my pearl and then use my brush to keep a barrier between the product and my cuticle. And then just allow the rest of that to kind of flow down the rest of the extension that we've already created. And since I have a little bit of a longer nail going, Looks like I'm gonna need to pick up a little blending bead to just put down at the tip. You can pick it up with your left. It really just takes a bit of practice once you start getting used to it. I've been doing my own nails for my whole career, so over 10 years, I guess. And it's definitely gotten better with time, so give yourself, you know, like I said, have some patience and just know that eventually you can get there. And just like when we're working on a client, we have the advantage of using the electric file. So if it's lumpy and bumpy and kind of wonky looking, it's okay, because you're gonna file it into shape later. So after looking at it, it looks like I've missed just a little bit over here on that side. Not a big deal, I'm just gonna pick up a little pearl. Drain that out a little bit since it's a small piece. And just go ahead and pop that in and clean up that side a little bit so that I know I won't have any issues with my structure. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a minute to set up and then we'll go over some filing tips. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a pinch and then remove this form. I have most of my shaping generally how I would like it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my electric file. Definitely recommend working with the safety bit, especially if working on your non-dominant hand because it has that nice rounded top so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna turn my electric file on to about 15,000 RPMs. And again, it's still in reverse. So that just means that the bit is rotating in the opposite direction. So I'm still able to pull towards myself while using my non-dominant hand, in this case, my left. So I'm just gonna go right up around the cuticle area Again, it's nice to be able to be working with this safety bit because I can even go around onto my skin and not have to worry about it. And as you can see when I'm working, what I would usually be doing is moving the hand that has the electric file in it. In this case, I tend to move more of my dominant hand because I have better control, more full range of motion. So I actually move the hand that I'm working on more than moving the hand that the file is in when working on my dominant. So I just clean up the cuticle area and then I will turn it and I'm looking down the barrel of the nail and just pulling towards me to get rid of any of that bulk that's not necessary and get it into a nice even shape. And again, you can see I'm more so moving the nail that I'm working on rather than using my left hand to try to control the e-file. Kind of do a little combination of both, but this just helps me when I'm working on myself. All right, I feel like that's most of the bulk that I need to get rid of, so I'm gonna set this down and grab my seasoned 150 file and I really rotate my hand so that I can see the edges and again I'm actually using more of my right hand to just push against the file so I kind of just have my left hand holding the file in place and I work my right hand up and down till I get that nice straight edge kind of look at it from over the top as well 
and then I try to do the same thing on this other side. And again, usually I'm just working a little bit slower than what I would be doing on a client. Make sure this is all blended in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dust off. Okay, so now that it's all filed and shaped, I'm gonna grab my protein bond and apply over the top. Protein bond is just gonna help eliminate any chipping or peeling of the gel polish that I'm gonna apply over the top of the enhancement. I am working with Go Time Romance vs. Reality. Go Time is one of my favorite products to use on myself because I don't have a lot of patience when working on myself. And Go Time is often a one step, um, one coat gel polish. So I don't really have to worry about anything else. So you just wanna make sure you're working a really slow so you're not flooding the cuticle area. And you can check all those sides. Make sure you're hitting the edges. Another huge thing with any one of these steps when working on yourself is you want to make sure that you're balancing. Just like usually you're balancing with your pinky, right now while I'm polishing, I'm balancing my wrist and my arm so that I'm not shaking and so that I have control of the polish when I'm applying. And I do the same when using my electric file or my hand file. I'm trying to balance either on my other hand or on my desk. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the light for 60 seconds. Okay, after that 60 seconds is up, I'm gonna come out of the light and I actually don't even have to wipe it or top coat it. Go Time is a one-step gel polish, so it doesn't require any swipe. There is no tacky dispersion layer and it doesn't require a top coat. It's shiny all on its own. So we're all good to go. I hope these tips kind of help you guys navigate working on yourself because I know it can be tricky, but I have confidence it can be done.